Good morning everybody, this is your first year gardener doing this video on my peaches and cream corn. This is so easy to grow guys. Peaches and cream is so easy to grow, but I want you to see the differences between the amount of sun. This back row right here gets about an hour to two hours less sun. You see the height of them. This one right here is about six foot six. This one right here is about six foot. This one is over eight foot right there. Uh, this one is around eight foot. And this one's about six six, about my height there. All right, so, and you can take a look at the stalks, you know. And then we come on down here, these ones that's gotten plenty of sun. And you see they're all upwards of around eight foot or so. And their stalks are way bigger. Another thing that I wanted to talk about was how you know when your corn's ready. That's when this right here pretty much goes brown. You see a little brown in it right now. You know your corn's on its way when it pulls away from the stalk. Right now that one's pulling away. Silk's going brown. It's looking good. It's on the way. This one ain't, it's in the process. It ain't pulled away nearly as much. Got a little brown silk in there. But there's that right there. As far as watering. Look, I messed up. I started out over watering my corn. I was watering it every day, morning and afternoon, just like I was doing my watermelons. And um, that was wrong. I only needed to water it about once a week. And once I found that out, because my leaves was overwatered, it was just drooping, like, much like this right here, much like that, okay? So my leaves was doing that right there. And I was dealing with that a little bit. So. I was over watering the crap out of it, so I let off water. And then Mother Nature does her thing, and just starts dumping water on us, you know. So it stayed over water, stayed over water. But today, I just watered it. I watered it this morning. And this was the first day that I've had to water my corn in about a month and a half. <laughs> now, I do put liquid miracle Grow on it, and, you know, that requires me watering as well but i didn't really count that because it didn't need the water it just needed the food the nutrients but there it is this is uh three days over two months 63 days peaches and cream corn planted from seed most important thing is just to keep it healed Heal it the first time when you plant it, and then come back by when it's about a foot tall and reheal it and do a good job rehealing. Don't slack at it. And come back by and do a good job rehealing when it's about a foot tall. And you're in the game. Other than that, just maybe, you know, uh, reheal. Where you see it needs it after that but other than that um i water it once a week one inch per square foot what that uh comes down to is about two gallons of water spread out over this entire little thing right here and one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven eight nine seven times nine sixty three so we got about sixty three plants out here give or take a few and um i put about two gallons of water on it and i water it once a week if it doesn't rain if it rains i pretty much don't water it i miracle grow it once every 14 days and i'm i've stopped that uh 14 days ago in fact it was my last cycle of it that i was putting on here so there's that right there they started from seed germinating in cups after seven days they got planted right down here if you take a look at my other youtube stuff you can see it 
and we got a harvest coming up soon. So yeah, my peaches and cream corn. That's what's happening. That's what's going on. Good stuff. And this is your first year of gardening. Telling y'all to have a beautiful day.